Hello everyone and welcome back. This is an intermediate tutorial on how to draw anatomy. If you want to see the beginner's tutorial, go ahead and click the link in the description. But we are going to incorporate more complex shapes in anatomy in this video. Alright, let's break it down. First up, we have the male model. In the last video, we learned how to draw this silhouette right here. But in this video, we're going to incorporate a more advanced technique. For this one, instead of drawing with block shapes, we're going to be drawing with lines. So for the head, let's just draw a basic potato shape. Basic potato, basic potato. And in the middle of that potato, let's draw a cross. So this is the middle of the head, and where the eyes are, just like that. Next, we're going to draw the midpoint, right in between the feet and the top of the head, where the legs meet the torso. Next, we're going to do a very basic broad shape of the torso. You know what this shape is? You know what this shape is? Why, it's an aerobase trapezoid. After the trapezoid, let's start with the legs. This time, we're going to draw lines. There we go. Next, we're going to draw circles where the shoulders should be. We're going to make a mark where the knees are, right here at the halfway point. The halfway point between the ankles and the bottom of the torso. Next, we're going to draw the arms. They meet exactly halfway at the thigh. Just like that. So we're starting out with the skeleton before we add volume. Now, we need to connect the shoulders to the head. How do we do this? Well first, we're going to start with a triangular shape here. Alright, and then from the head, we're going to connect. Just like that. Perfect! Now we're starting to add more volume. Now for the arms and the legs. So we know where the elbows are. Right here and right here. Right exactly where the waist is. The way I usually draw arms is like this. We have the arm here, and then we have one triangle, and then we have something that's like a diamond. See? Something that's like a triangle, like a diamond. So we're going to draw straight down like a triangle, and then it looks like there's a diamond cutting into the triangle. going to do a tr another triangle, a diamond that cuts into the triangle, just like that. Alright, now let's draw the hands. So the hands are hanging down, so what I like to do is I usually like to have like a glove type of shape, so imagine like a mitten. So this is exactly where the legs meet the torso. So we're going to have a little volume out here. So the way we're going to draw the legs is like this. Hey, it's me editing right now. Um, I realize I made the legs really, really weird, but don't worry. I fix it later on, so we're just going to move on onto the next thing. So ignore the part. Okay, see you later. And finally, the feet. They're shapes just like this. So bop, 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 bop. Bop. More trapezoids. I love them. I love trapezoids. You know a gal loves trapezoids. Hey look, it's the waistband. Right in the middle, right in between the waist and the bottom of the torso, is the waistband. These hands are like way too small. I'm gonna fix them in a sec. I'm just erasing the skeleton right underneath the figure, and then we can make some adjustments. Let's fix the hands. They're a little small. I want him to like make fists. And he's making a fist, so he looks like looks like that. I'm looking at my own hand for reference. So erase this hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have a completely separate tutorial on how to draw hands, because I have a trick or two up my sleeve, of course. You know you gal can dish it out. And there we go, we got fists. Look at this man, look at this man. His legs look weird, something's throwing me off. I think I did his legs wrong. What do you think? Do you think I did his legs wrong? Yeah, I completely did his legs wrong. Here's the thing, the straight and curved rule applies when, uh, a si when the leg is sideways. But here, the legs are going out. So what we have here instead is something like this. So we have an upper and then like a lower curve like that. So we have out like that, and then out like that. And then we have out like that, and then out like that. 
Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. And then these thighs are like way too like subtly curved, man, for this style. Let's give it a lot more muscle. Oh, 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 let's give him like a nice big broad chest like that. Gotta give him the chest muscles. Because our man, he does not skip chest day or leg day. You know what I'm saying? I, use, I like to draw in lines rather than curves sometimes. I don't know, it makes it easier for me. It's like give him like a mid chest area here and then maybe like, uh, uh, should I give him a six pack? Hell yeah, we got a six pack, my guy. Yeah! Okay, 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 I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I want to add some more muscles. So we're going to add the sternomastoideous muscles, the neck muscles, you feel me? And then the collar bone like that. Oh, I am feeling it. Yes. And then we're going to give him some freaking deltoids. Yes. Deltoids, they're the ones in your shoulders. Like that. And then, oh, th this muscle. Then the bicep muscle. Just like that. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Oh, give him, like, biceps that look like that, and then like that. Look at this. Like, he doesn't look like a like a total, like, beefcake. He looks like he's just athletic, you feel me? Oh, uh, let's add divots in the knees, like that, and like that. Oh, yeah, look at it! Look at it! Oh, actually, let's uh, make them a little higher. Um, let's make them point outward, because it makes them look pigeon-toed. All right, so we have the male anatomy. All right, so now it's time for the female anatomy. So let's start with the potato head. Next, we're gonna start with the shoulder line. So right here, just like that. Then we're gonna have where the legs meet the torso, just like that. All right, so the thing is with the female anatomy, it's not straight up like that, like a man, like a trophy shape. Uh, we have the hourglass shape. So what we're going to do is we are going to, so we're gonna start with this line here, and then this line here, and then we are going to add indents to the hourglass. And there we go. All right, now we're gonna draw two ellipses for the shoulders. Cool, cool, cool. We're going to draw the leg lines. Something that I wanted to point out is that men usually have their feet further apart, whereas women tend to have the feet closer together. So with men, like the legs can come out like that, and they're completely parallel. With women having wider hips, like that, the pelvis pushes the thighs kind of together like that, and that's kind of like the natural look. See, because the pelvis pushes the thighs inward. All right, now we're going to draw the skeleton for the arms. So around right here and right here. Cool, so we have the basic skeleton. Let's just do the feet real fast. Cool beans. I'm sorry, I made the face not align. We're gonna draw a cross like that, cool. Now, to connect the head to the shoulders, we have a very, very, very low triangle here. Like a very, very, very wide triangle. So it's like very wide. And then the neck, comes down exactly at the midline here. Something else that I noticed is that the standard female neck is a lot narrower compared to the head as compared to compared to the man with a very wide neck. Just something I couldn't help but notice. So next we are going to make the marks for the elbows and the knees. So the elbows are where exactly the waist indents, just like that. And then the knees are exactly between the ankles and the top of the leg. Right here and right here. Last time on the male anatomy, I was having issues on where to put the hands because I made them too small at first. But this time, let's put the wrists where the legs and the hips meet. So this is where the top of the wrists are. And we have all of this area for hands. Okay? Okay. Does it also pertain to the male anatomy? Let's check. It does! See, I made the wrists too low when they should be exactly at this midline here. So the wrists are at the midline and the hands end at the middle of the thigh. We learn from our mistakes, people. We have the top of the arms. Usually like we have like usually women have like smaller upper arms. There's not much bicep going on. That this is just standard. There are always deviations from the norm, obviously. That kind of goes without saying. But this is YouTube, I have to say it. And then there's a mass right here at the elbow. So we're gonna do like 
little like that, come in like that, and then just like that. All right, next we're going to work on the thighs. So we have the midline here. We're going to come in like this, and come in like this, like that, and like this. Working with lines here, people. We're, lurking, we're working with lines instead of curves. We're working with angles. We're working with lines, not necessarily curves. Why? Because it, it's really easy to be really, really finicky about curves. Really finicky. So if you just work in lines, angles, it becomes a lot easier to work on. Now for the bottom parts of the legs. It's a word I cannot come to mind right now. I'm gonna flash it on the screen right now. See how the fat on the leg come tilts up like that? So we have this mass coming up here and then this mass going down here. Does that kind of make sense? Kind of, sort of, not really? Okay, so don't think of these as curves, right? Think of these as angles. See? Bop! And then if we were to do that again, and bop, just like that. See, it makes it so, see, angles and lines make everything so much easier. All right, cool beans. Now we're going to erase the skeleton. We're just gonna draw like a little, like a little V shape right here. And then we're just gonna like, I like to draw shorts, cute little shorts. Feel like the feet are way too close together for any stability. Let's just, let's just adjust that just a tiny, tiny little bit. Just, just do like that and then go out here and then pretend everything, nothing ever happened. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna, we're gonna move on. Just, just, shh, shh, don't tell anybody. Still have to erase the skeleton and the arms. See, so I like to start with a skeleton because it kind of makes everything a little easier to think about. It's like the rough draft or like the, the outline of an essay. You build everything off of it. And I know what you're saying, enthusiasts. Why her chest look like that? Uh, give me a second, okay? Give me a second. Let the master work, okay? So we're going to draw fists, draw fist. Cool. All right, almost done, almost done. Making some adjustments. All right, so, all right, all right, all right. I heard ya, we're gonna do the chest now. Hold your horses. We're just gonna do a swoop like that. We're just gonna whoop. And then we're just gonna do a swoop out here, okay? We're just gonna, we're gonna... Yeah, all right. Now what about the muscles? What about the details? Okay, give me a sec. We gotta be patient. Cause here's what we're gonna do for the muscles and the details. But guys, it's cool to like show off the sternomastoid muscles, the neck muscle, the neck muscles. Actually, it's not just sternomastoid muscles, like it's a long word. Flash it on the screen right now. The sternomastoid something 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 muscles are the muscles that connect from the back of your ear to the collarbone. They actually help your head move from side to side. With females, however, there's not a lot of room for sternomastoid muscles. So what we like to do instead is to just suggest a little collarbone, just like that. Maybe like, uh, maybe like the midline right here. Cool. And then there's usually not much muscles going on. Uh, let's work on the knees. Cool. All right. And there's, there's not that many, there's not that many like muscle details going on with women. Unless you like want to add like something like, something like that. And there we have it. We have the female anatomy. This time with using line, this time with using more structure. So as a little pro tip for you, with this style, I really recommend lines, angles. We don't want to do curves. Why don't we want to do curves? It's super easy to get really finicky and it's super easy to be like really anal about it. And I hate when that happens. It happens to me a lot. So ever since I converted to angularism, my life has never been the same, let me tell you. So I wanted to thank you all for joining me on today's lesson in anatomy. So join me next time for when we're going to learn a more advanced technique. So go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully Algorithm Senpai will notice me someday. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm the Board Enthusiast, and I hope to see you all again real soon.